Kerai. Fine art photography. Until then, a bit. Well, I thought instead of trying to make up my own uh, definition, I'd have a look at the experts, what they said. And probably the best quote I found was one that a lot of people use when talking about fine art photography, and it comes from Ansel Adams. Now, there's a blast from the past. <laughs> Everybody's favourite landscape photographer. And what did he say about fine art photography? Well, I'll read it from the screen here. Art implies control of reality, for reality itself possesses no sense of the aesthetic. Photography becomes art when certain conditions are applied. Or as we'd say nowadays, manipulation, post-processing. <laughs> because one of the things Ansel Adams was into was a lot of manipulation in the darkroom. So he didn't just... Uh, make a definition of fine art. He practiced it. And to see that very clearly, we'll go to one of his most famous photos, Moonrise over Hernandez. Now first, I'll show you the uh, original straight out of camera image that he took. Then, the image that after many, many tries in the darkroom over many years, this is the image he came up with that he thought was the best. And as you can see, it's vastly different from the original straight out of camera. So Ansel Adams uh, heavily manipulated his photos until they became what he saw in his mind rather than what the camera saw. And that's one of the aspects of fine art photography. Now for many years I was a photojournalist and the idea there is to capture with your camera as close to reality as possible. Whereas fine art photography is use your camera as a tool to get an image that is the base of making an image that you see in your mind. So it can be uh, slightly manipulated, manipulated heavily, until it becomes what you think it should be. Now the other day I went out to uh, the back of Hillsville. It was a moody sort of day, clouds and mist going through the tops of the mountains and it looked it was promising to look really nice. I took my X70 along, my one camera, one lens, and uh, found that, yeah, it's okay for wide landscapes, but I really needed to zoom in to certain areas of the mountains and bring that into the camera. <laughs> and the X70 just wasn't cutting it. This is the view I got with the, uh, the X70 with its wide angle lens. So as you can see, not exactly great. I just happen to have in my camera bag, my X-T2 with an 18 to 135 mil Fuji lens on it and I ended up using that for the photos that I was taking because I was able to zoom into the areas of the mountains I was interested in where I thought there was promise of some good photos. I was shooting in black and white by the way. So now I'm going to put up the uh, straight out of camera black and whites and then my manipulated versions of the photos. So much like Ansel Adams, uh, I played around with the contrast, the highlights, the shadows. Some of the changes I made were global over the whole photo. Others were in certain spots, picking up uh, different light in the clouds and that sort of thing. Until I got what I thought was a good representation of what that scene was like. So I was able to make images that I could see with my mind out of images that the camera saw. And that's all part of the fine art deal.
also had the chance to uh, take some photos of Hillsville under flood with uh, lots of farmland just covered totally in water. There you go. No matter what sort of photography you might be into, landscapes, portrait, street, use your camera to enjoy it. So when I was working for clients, I had to take photos to please them. Now I'm not working for clients anymore, I take photos to please myself. And that's the great thing about photography. You get out there with your camera and you enjoy what you do. You might enjoy the journey, the travel, the arrival at the destination. You might enjoy walking around hunting up good compositions. You might enjoy the simple pleasure of being able to have the right camera and, and lens that suits you for that occasion. You might enjoy coming back and doing the post-processing, manipulating the image uh, until it's what you see in your mind. But the ideal is you get out there and enjoy what you're doing, having fun. Now if you like these videos, because they're not sponsored, there's no ads, uh, I do it for my own enjoyment, trying to get uh, across something of what I enjoy to uh, the viewer. Thanks very much to all my subscribers, they're slowly growing and that's great. If you like it, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and you can always buy me a coffee, www.buymeacoffee.com slash Greg Carrick. But whatever you do, whatever camera you got, pick it up, take it for a walk, and have some fun. Bye.